Hey everybody, I'm Rich G. And I'm BJ Flagg, and this is episode 348, Four Steps to Build a Memorable Brand. Thank you, Rich. You can step aside now, and I will talk about branding. And I know, that's why <laughs> I left it totally open. This is BJ's hour. You know, she gets to talk <laughs> Which is- Oh my gosh, which is so not true because Rich G is a walking brand. So this is this is definitely a collaborative situation going on here for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Creating a brand that sticks in consumers' minds doesn't happen by chance. No. It results from strategic thinking, creative execution, and consistent behavior. And that's the that's the most important one. Consistent <laughs> behavior. A memorable brand can elevate a business above its competition, making it a first choice in consumer mind, consumers' minds. And we're going to be talking about a a brand that overtook an older brand and yes. it just blew it away. That's right. It's going to be fun to get to see all of these come together. You know, today we're going to guide you through four essential steps that follow diligently will lead to the creation of a brand that is not only going to capture the attention of everyone, but also fosters loyalty and advocacy from understanding your audience to developing your brand promise. These steps are designed to lay a solid foundation and propel your brand into the hearts and minds of your customers, potentially transforming your business into a mem- remembered and revered brand. I'm excited. Yeah, this is going to be fun. We're, we're not going to talk to you about the actual steps. We're going to talk about brands that we know that have really knocked it out of the park. So let's dive in and transform your business into a remembered and revered brand. BJ, Great. why don't you kick it off? All righty. The first one is B. Ryan Reynolds. Yes, we're talking about the owner of Mint, Aviation Gym, used to be, and Wrexham, the Welsh football team. This guy is known for being an incredible actor, wonderful performer, but do you know that he's crafted a way to amplify his brand into other products. He is an amazing gift for just being up there as a spokesman for each of these groups. You connect to Ryan Reynolds, and then you connect to the brand. Yeah. So, you know, very successful. His his sense of humor is infectious, and he brings it. You know, he wasn't just a uh an actor doing a quick gig on mint um uh the uh uh the cell phone uh service he, yeah he, he owned like yeah mint mobile what 25 percent? 25 percent of mint mobile and they just sold it he made like 330 million from that deal alone so yeah not only is an actor he's immersing himself into the brand he becomes the brand Right. And think about aviation gin. Yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. You know? And so really what can we learn from him is be passionate. Yeah. Be involved. Be a good business person. The brand will become strong. So that that's a great one. Yeah. Which take us to another one. Yeah. It, 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 the whole idea about being your brand is really absorbing it really taking it on too many people are like oh i do this and they kind of yeah. do it it's like no be proud of what you do really yes. own it own it ryan reynolds owns it another person in step two that really owns their brand is a close friend of ours uh bni cohort steve seifert from sp and g printing um, he consistently promotes his brands in all forms. He's oh, yeah. had this printing service for probably 20 plus years. He's a walking billboard. He wears oh, yeah. his apparel with his logo to every meeting, everywhere he goes. He hands out pads of paper with his logo on it. So you're using 
his logo. You his see logo. his logo a smart constantly. Guy. <laughs> it's in your face. He hands out pens. He has signage. He wraps cars with big logos. It's, <laughs> it, he just owns it, and he's so proud of it. And rightfully yeah. so. It's a highly successful business in the Fairfield County area. It's just wonderful. Yeah. You know, if you've ever gone to the Greenwich Wine Party down in uh, uh, Greenwich, Connecticut, yep, he did all the marketing, all the beautiful, incredible large billboards and signs and all of that kind of stuff. He is a, like, if your brand went to his place, it would be treated just like he does his amazing thing. Yeah, so consistently promote your brand in all forms, on your website, with your business card, on your name tag, everywhere you go. If you have a leave behind, your logo, everything, your colors, your branding should all be consistent and stand behind it. Uh, because if you have anything that falls behind, like I, I see this, like people will have an old logo or a yes. different color or something, it just doesn't when everything something up, scratched out on their business card oh my exactly. god oh yeah <laughs> they they they, oh, they have a different phone number or something it's right. like you need to be consistent with your brand in your advertising yeah. and everywhere that you do it yes yeah, so good uh step number three is be a verb yeah be zoom yeah. we want to talk about zoom they came in and they squashed the competition yeah i mean we used to say let's skype let's skype yeah. well, everybody's gonna skype and then <laughs> uh the pandemic hit and a new sheriff was a town i mean zoom was faster better and more innovative oh my gosh you know they were kind of like simmer simmering under the surface and innovating and then pow they were ready. They had the infrastructure. They were able to get going on everything. And they were easy. It was like, they are their name. Zoom. They are their name. And they continued their innovation through collaborating with their customers. And, yeah. you know, they, they always will say, hey, we listen to you. We put this new thing on. They just put this huge calendar feature onto their thing. So beautiful looking. So streamlined. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, and clear and consistent video just it, amazing it drives me nuts when a client is using google meet or microsoft teams because yes. they are so clunky and yeah. the it, everything about them is is just not good and yeah. then suddenly i i i get on zoom and it's like there's a summary feature ai summary feature Oh, I love it's that. So many different things about it. It is light years ahead and it's not that expensive. That's the other thing. So right, right. And you know, they're they people say things like, listen, let's just zoom. Yeah. And as soon as that happened, they were just solidified and they're in place. Yeah. And just fantastic. So take us on to the fourth one. One well, of your favorites. The last one is uh, one that we've been seeing, a brand that has has been consistent, but now has exploded over the last year or two, is yeah. be Taylor Swift. Um, you, too, can be a mega brand if you focus on it. Uh, Taylor took control of her identity and her music uh, in a very unique way. Uh, she's got a worldwide tour grossing billions of dollars. She's got a movie that took over thousands of theaters. She launched it with a movie company, with a uh, uh, the theater company, not a movie company. She's right. re-releasing her albums to bypass her old publisher because she got a really bad contract and deal. And she just launched a double album to the world. She is on fire. She has a brand that is so powerful right now in music. I don't think anybody comes close. I was saying the other day, I don't think anybody's been closer to this than like the Beatles, the kind of mania and focus yeah. that she's developed over the past, uh, you know, five years. And you know what is amazing? She tells a great story. She yeah. is a storyteller. And she will go past genres and do folk 
do pop, do this, do that. She's not controlled by any of those things. And her ability to get that story across is is what has kept everybody with her. It's amazing. Yeah, so you could do the same for your products and services. Have a great story, stick to it, but also think big. How can you get bigger? I mean, I did this when I started my coaching practice. I said, I want to be on television. So I hired a PR agent, and within a year, I was on the Today Show. So you <laughs> can do it. You can think big. You will get as big as you want. It's just a matter of really pushing yourself in different areas and, you know, having that story and getting people Oof. to listen. So you just can't can't beat it. There's two books that are fantastic that either one just grab them. The first one is Designing Brand Identity, an essential guide for the whole branding team by Alana uh, Wheeler. What a book. It is a comprehensive guide to uh, creating and building and maintaining a solid brand. It provides detailed case studies, my favorite, uh, and just goes through practical tools to help business owners and designers. I love the book. It's just fantastic. Yeah. I, and our second book is one that we've mentioned before on other episodes. It's one of our favorites. It's uh, Donald Miller's Building a Story Brand, Clarifying Your Message So Customers Will Listen. Uh, Donald Miller is just the king of building your brand, building your story. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It, he introduces the what he calls the story brand framework, and he focuses on using storytelling to make your brand more straightforward and engaging. So he helps you simplify it down and make it uh, sticky. So people yes. get it, they get it fast, and they remember it very quickly. And yes. this approach is gonna help you understand what your customers, what your prospects are looking for and how to communicate with them easily and quickly. Oh, definitely. And you know what, these big books are not just theoretical. They offer practical insights into the foundation branding strategies to um, innovate storytelling approaches. We kind of focused on that part because yeah. it's so incredibly important. And they are designed to equip any business owners, any creatives to really have tools and knowledge that they need to develop a memorable brand identity. I, I love both the books. Perfect. And that's a wrap. We invite you to share this episode on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok with the hashtag, The Best Small Business Show. And thank you for tuning in. If this episode has been valuable to you, take advantage of uh, you know future insights. Subscribe, follow, share it with other budding entrepreneurs who could benefit from it. Your support helps us reach more people and make a significant impact. And if you want to learn more and talk to our team, contact BJ at NewRenew.com for all of your brand marketing needs. And find me, RichG.com, if you need a business coach to help you grow your business. And thanks to our editor and producer, Richard Scalzo. Have an unbelievable week and catch you later.